Happy 100k subscribers! We did it. Rather, you did it. I just make the videos, but you guys routinely show up to this show. I'm just kidding. I absolutely love what we've accomplished here. I'm so happy and so incredibly proud, and so is Toby. He's so thrilled for me. Can't you tell? I am feeling the excitement. Anywho, let's jump back into Hogwarts Legacy. And yes, I did buy balloons, okay, and they will remain there until they pop or deflate or both. Ooh, there's a couple good quest lines that we can start off for this video. Oh, the last place we left off, we helped Gareth. And I was doing that on my way to talk to Sebastian. So naturally we should just start with this one. I think we're right here anyway. Heck yeah, we are. <laughs> I set myself up for this and I'm so proud. There you are. Anything to do with the dark art should be avoided. It's too risky. Anything False. to do with Salazar Slytherin is worth the risk. I can't agree. And I'll not say a word more. I'm sorry. False. What were you and Ominous speaking about? He's being ridiculous. Apparently Salazar Slytherin had a secret scriptorium here in Hogwarts. Ominous swears it was used for the Dark Arts, so he wants nothing to do with it. I reminded him that Anne needs a cure. This scriptorium could hold the answers we need. I am very curious about the Dark Arts. The Dark Arts do pique my interest. There's more to dark magic than people realize. The Gaunts know this better than most. Mm -hmm. Perhaps I've spoken out of turn. Ominous's family history is personal to him. You can tell me because I'm a nosy Nancy. I'd like to know more about it, if you wouldn't mind telling me. I won't repeat it. Very well. But do keep this between us. Ominous learned dark magic from his parents. Are you familiar with the Cruciatus Curse? Uh, yes, I am. Crucio, correct? The Cruciatus Curse, also known as the Torture Curse, inflicts excruciating pain on the victim. Apparently. His parents and older siblings had no qualms about casting us on muggles for sport. Ominous described the sound of the victim's cries as horrific, so the first time he was asked to cast it himself as a child, he couldn't bring himself to do it. As punishment, his family cast it on him. The anguish was so bad that when asked to cast it again, he relented. I have repeatedly assured Ominous that he did what he had to, but he still hasn't forgiven himself. I have always kind of wondered what the Cruciatus Curse would feel like, but I, I I, don't know if I ever want to know what that kind of pain feels like. Be like a quick zap and then just be done. Like I just, just a little taste and then done. Never do it again. I imagine that it's similar to being electrocuted. Again, not like I would ever know what that feels like. I think the worst like thing that's ever happened, even remotely similar is being statically shocked by my sibling after he rubbed his feet on the carpet. But he had no choice. How horrible. Poor Ominous, he was only a child. He shouldn't blame himself. After that incident, the rift between Ominous and his family only grew. That is until I came along. Every moment he isn't at Hogwarts, he's with us in Feldcroft. Ominous trusts me. And more often than not, he winds up listening to me. I'll remind him of that when I follow up about the scriptorium. Watch for my owl. I'll have news soon enough. I'll make Ominous understand. He'll change his mind. Ooh, hey kitty! Ooh, this is a cute cat. This is fitting because I have a cat on my shirt. More like a cat pizza. Cat on a pizza or pizza on a cat. No one will ever know. <laughs> Okay, I came here for a reason, and I can't remember what that reason was because I was distracted by the kitty. Oh, that's right. I finally have enough money to purchase a large potting table. Yeah, so I can harvest something that I need for a spell. I feel like time I feel like a kid who saved up enough money to buy like their first console. Mind like yours. <gasps> Let's look at what we have, shall we? Shall we? We need large potting table the large pot spellcraft but i want to do the one that gives you more i don't i don't know like little 
plots instead of just one. There's two large pot spell crafts. And then we don't want medium. No medium. Mm -mm. So we want this one. Potting table with two large pots spell craft. $3,000. Nothing like finding just the right thing, is there? <gasps> oh, you gotta spend money to make money, right? <sighs> Let me know if there's anything else I can do to help. Now I can... Start my herb empire, my herb growing empire. Call me Walter White. I should have named my character that. These rocks have seen better days. Ooh. Let's go through the arch. Thread the needle. We can't enter wall mounted. Natty. Oh, am I early? Psst, over here, quietly. I am glad that you received my owl. We need to stay low and remain quiet. Natty, what's going on? Why are we all the way out here? As promised, I did some investigating to find out what Harlow is up to. I followed him to the hog's head. I noticed him reading a letter. All I could see was that it was signed by and bore the seal of Victor Rookwood. And one other thing. Harlow mentioned you to his colleagues. They did not mistake you for someone else, did they? No, they didn't. Rockwood and Harlow are after me. Why did you lie to me? And what do they want with a Hogwarts student? Professor Fig told me to keep things quiet, but I know I can trust you, Natty. Rockwood and Harlow want something Professor Fig and I found at Gringotts. When were you at Gringotts? Just before I came to Hogwarts. In fact, it's why I was late to the sorting ceremony. A portkey brought us there after the dragon attacked our carriage. What on earth? There's one more thing. It's a bit odd, if I'm honest. Professor Fig says I have a rare connection to a powerful form of ancient magic. I... what does that mean? I'm still learning, but I can see traces of it, and I've cast magic I can't otherwise explain. I know that's a lot to take in. <sighs> it is. And I will have more questions. For now, it's safe to say that Rookwood and Harlow are a threat to both of us, to all of us, and we can help to take them down for good. That letter is the tangible proof that Officer Singer needs. It is why I followed Harlow here and why I wrote to you. I need your help to retrieve it. Well then, let's go. I'll help you find the letter, Natty. I'm glad to hear it. First, we must access the castle keep. I'll check the main gate, see if you can find another way in. I do not see any guards, but we should still try to be as quiet as possible. Harlow is here after all. Good. Wish we could take him down now. Alright, so we need to find an alternate route. Which we definitely should be able to access now. Revenia. Is that a chest? Ooh. Sure, I don't know if I need that. I want ooh, oh, I see something. I see something over here. I see it. I see it. Oh. I made a pit stop to my room requirement. Totally did no cleaning. No cleaning happened. Okay, we should be good. But I need to pulse for this. Or at least I think I need to pulse for this. Do we need to set that thing on fire? Confringa! Yeah. Job. Got it. Noise. Confringa! Or should we just use Lumos for that? Well, it doesn't matter now. We made it. Oh, thank God I actually went and sold stuff. Duh. I, I rem huh. totally remember doing that. Oh, no, 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 no. no too li ah, Took me too long. No. It's all right. Shake it off. We're fine. Okay, so we came in in that direction. Oh, God, even the plants will kill you in this game. Just impale you. It's fine. What is up here besides a Merlin trial? Do I want to do it? Do I even have any mallow sweet? Of course I do. I hoard. I'm a hoarder. But what is it? Is it going to be a... S oh, I think it has something to do with butterflies. Right, so. Let's put that there. Lumos. 
here, my little babies. Here's your home. Avelio. Okay, they do highlight. Wait a second. Oh no, those are leaves. I was like, why are the fireflies there already? Um, where? Oh, <gasps> nothing to see here. I am totally not messing with nature. Nope, not at all. Okay, that is that is glitching out. Nature hates me. <laughs> Lumos. And I'm. Pr Could you guys like? If you guys are gonna, don't please don't impale me with your horns. Thank you. Um, I was gonna say, as long as they're here, they could help me out with this. <laughs> Never mind. Here, fireflies, is your final stop. Where's... Oh, no. It, okay. There we go. Whoa, that didn't happen to the other one. Oh. Uh, that explains the glitchy bugs. Got it. Mm-hmm. There's the pleasant sound. Um, can I climb up with this? I don't remember. I feel like it's gonna be weird about it. Yeah. Lumos. I turned the light out. What, is, what do these deer want from me? Are you trapped? Don't, please don't kill me. I am a child. Noise. I think I have done a whopping two in this game, or in, the, in this playthrough so far, and this might be the second one. <laughs> Honestly, these are not going to be my priority. Hello! <gasps> okay. okay! Yeah! I just saw my life flash before my eyes. We should get out of here before I actually die. <laughs> Yeah, they say animals can sense things. They can sense the evil within me. Isn't that a game? Evil within? I think there's two. It's not evil within me, it's evil within. There's two games. I want to say they're Resident Evil-like-ish, kind of. I've never played them. I've only ever heard great things. Let me know if you've played them. I do love horror games, and there's so very few that I have not played or like finished. There is one that I have not finished and I will never finish it. I will never pick it up again. It's called Visage. That game is cursed in so many ways and I, I refuse, hmm. I refuse. I wonder what that does. It does this. That did it. Oh, nice, wait. Okay. Oh my gosh, there's no need to rush. Guardium Leviosa. Guardium Leviosa. Again, I'm so glad that they thought to do that. Okay, that's not good enough. You should- oh gosh, too close. Alright, let's just chill there. Is that gonna be good enough? Oh, there we go. Mine. Move. Nice little chunk of change I there. I way into the gatehouse to open the gate for Natty. Confringo! Blow that up. Ooh, what's on the other side? I feel like there is something on the other side. You always have to follow every path. Dead end. Must be another way in. Right. Can I do that from here? Closer. Yo, I can, though. Oh, but it goes down. How do I... Wait. I have an idea. Ha 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 Genius. Oh, never mind. I fell for this again. Oh my god, I did this last playthrough too. I thought I was being slick. And I wasn't. That looks as if it might raise the gate. Ooh. Rebellion. We got a note. I can't believe I have to write this down, but you moon mines don't listen. Push the gate open. Don't blast it. If I find it blown to pieces again, I swear it'll be the end of you lot. Bla I know this gives me a hint. P 
push the gate open, don't blast it. Did I leave that sack of potatoes behind there? I didn't... I didn't loot it, did I? I am not going back. I am way too lazy. Um... Okay, but I was I was on the right track with the pulse. And then I think we have to do something with this. Yes. yes. Well done. I will be right up. I knew you could do it. This way. I will get the door. Oh, that door. Alohomora. Hey, can you just teach me all the Alohomora spell levels? That is the main keep. My guess is that we'll find Halo and the letter inside. We'll need to be careful once we get... I hear them. Yes! Restrain the beast! Oh. Hi, Wing. Do you know that hippogriff? Yes. Get this thing back to her. Very well. New plan. I get the evidence and you free that hippogriff. Agreed? This is our chance. Go! Too late. Oh no, not for you. Ah! Oh, blast it! Oh, there's got to be a, another way to get up to the roof. Somewhere. Okay, I have a serious bone to pick with my character right now. Um, she has the dash ability. No problem though. Logic out the window. He's out of trouble. <laughs> Don't think about it too hard. Um, what do we have to do here? We have a lower level. Okay. Yep, yeah, these birds don't care. Wait, 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 wait. I feel like I have to do something with this. Um. Oh, oh, oh. There's a... Oh, okay. I think I think I know what to do here. Trust me, guys. Yeah, there we go. I have to drop that. I don't want to retrace my steps. I'm trying to limit that. Um, okay, cool. Oh, I think I need it for something down on this level here. What exactly? I I I know now. Yeah. Uh, I probably should have... Okay. I don't know if this was the best idea we've ever had, but... Leviosa. We'll try it. Oh, it corrected itself. Ah, not the safest place to sneak into. Just gonna go kick in pot. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Um, um... Oh gosh. The ministry okay. ought to loosen the reins on the dark arts. Shh. I do agree. But I don't like that it came from your mouth. Ooh, money? More money? I should hang around villainous people more often. They seem to have a lot of gold. Another victim. Freeze a poacher stalker while they are readying their attack. No. That should count. Technically, they freeze up. That. Ha ha! Oh. Time to cheat! Crap. They see me. They see me. Oh! I didn't mean to do that, but I liked that better. There we go. Um. There was a great idea that came up when I first played this game. I think it was like Twitter when, when this game was like super hype and everyone was talking about it. There was some ideas that I loved and one of them was when you reach the next level in Alohomora, anytime you go to unlock one of the lower level ones beneath it, like if you do three, then every level two and level one lock should just instant open and the only ones you should have to do the minigame for are the highest level ones 
I, I like that idea. Oh, hell no. This place is haunted. <laughs> yep, we don't... I don't do ghosts, guys. Definitely don't do ghosts. What was I saying before? Oh, right. I think it was a, the Alohomora thing. Just a thought, because doing that, you still do the mini game, so you don't miss out on it completely, but it saves you time on doing, like, the lower level ones. Ha! No, you 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 grinded so hard. Easier time of it. You grinded so hard for the demi guises. This is the least that they can do to pay us for all of our hard work. Level two lock. I keep thinking it says level eleven. Apples. Revenia. Oh, if, oh, this is one of those moments where I wish I had it, but I'm too lazy. You're Good home in a lord. Box. Okay, that is, again, that is super rude. You're getting knocked off the edge, ma'am. Oh, wow. Please, stop right oh, what was that? Let me Ow, okay, I'm getting confused here. No, no, you don't. Whoa, ow. This, we're a little too close. Quit hitting me with the unbackable. Ten points. All right, we're gonna pause, pause, ma'am, pause, please. Thank you. Let's switch that up a little bit. Oh God, I gotta be fast. Oh, I couldn't be fast enough. You'll feel that. Let me outside. Okay, now I'm ready. Now I'm ready. Bye. Ooh, I should have been better prepared with my spells for that one. I don't need Lumos there. Hmm, what can I put on here? I think I had Expelliarmus. Yes. There we go again. See, especially when Amora. the level one locks and all the lower level locks are happening during like a story mission. There we go, finally. Just some quality of life stuff. I'm all about saving some time. Rebellion. Ooh. Oh no. <gasps> oh. oh no. It's unlocked. Deke was right. We need to save you from these barbarians. You know what I'm gonna do this time that I don't think I did the first time, and oh boy, were there some angry people in the comments. Okay, this one, this is for all of them out there. I hope I can redeem myself here. <laughs> Come here, baby. I didn't know. I mean, yeah, sure, they're highlighted, but I didn't think at the time to do this. I was so one-track mind focused on the quest at hand. Because <gasps> we would have gotten our first, what, Niffler? I think these are called Nifflers. <laughs> yeah, baby! Oh my gosh, because these are hard, uh, harder to find in the wild. I think they're on the other side of the map. There you go. If any of you guys are watching this right now that yelled at me <laughs> in the first playthrough, do you feel better now? We got another letter. Delivery. Four jobber knolls. Be cautious. Three nasals. Where are the nasals and jobber knolls? Cleverer and meaner than they look. Watch the claws. Five giant purple toads. Always wear gloves when handling. One thestral. No, you lot can see it. <laughs> oh, that's a, that's a dark joke. That's a dark joke and I like it. Okay. Two question mark hippogriffs have a lead on where to get a pair and no phoenixes well all right can i save more i'm very proud of myself i feel like i have redeemed myself i feel better i feel like my conscience and my spirit is a little lighter now we got another room unlocked there's definitely money no animals but at least there was money so it's a win I remember there being something special here. Yup. Revelio. Revelio. I would say I've decreased my Revelio usage in this playthrough so far by like at least 90%. <laughs> I'm proud. I don't know about you. Oh, cool. Okay, we gotta go back to the room. Another letter. Astrid, keep an eye on my stash, eh? 
It's yours if I mysteriously disappear. That liar cheated us out of what was ours, so I took what I could and I hid it there. Twenty damn years and treated no better than fools who've been here two blasted weeks. Manfred. What a great name, Manfred. <laughs> Oh snap. It's all right. There we go. Oh, I forgot about the other one. Oh, there you are. Oh, I love this part. Wait for it. Wait for it, y'all. Wait for it. Kinda epic. <laughs> so funny. Ah! Thinking back to when I didn't see that coming and it was such a shock at the time. It was the first time in this game that I had heard it. Woo! Compared to my broom, I feel like riding the hippogriffs is a little bit more janky. The Express must be returning from an unscheduled run. Oh, are they checking maintenance? That's good. I love trains though. Can we please bring back more passenger travel trains in the US? Like, can I just sell my car? That's really all I want. I just want to sell my car. <laughs> I rode on a train in Europe and it was probably one of the coolest experiences. <laughs> people over there it might be a super normal thing but for someone like me anyone can see us from the castle. there's really no trains in Ohio and being able to just vibe and look at the the scenery was the coolest thing I think it was in England Whoa! it's incredible isn't it brush your knuckles against the water I will dunk you Okay, no, the flying feels really good. I don't know what I was saying before. <laughs> How exciting. <laughs> Oh, it was exhilarating, wasn't it? I wasn't sure we were going to make it out alive. <laughs> there was no need to worry. I had it all under control. Were you able to find the letter? Summoned it straight out of Harlow's hands. <laughs> I will say, I did not expect to see him cast the killing curse at us. He won't forget this. Be on your guard. Of course. What did the letter say? That Rookwood's looking for a phoenix. <laughs> Not sure where he will find one. But it also included Harlow's orders to inspect that castle for the poachers. Enough to connect Harlow to the crimes. I shall deliver the letter to Officer Singer. She'll have to do something when she sees it. Now, tell me, where did you meet these hippogriffs? I've only met Highwing before. Poppy introduced us. Poppy Sweeting knows a hippogriff. <laughs> of course she does. Poppy will be relieved to know that Highwing's safe. I came to the right person for help. My mother will be worried. I must go. Seek me out soon. I shall have much to tell you. We'll do, bestie. She... She doesn't have a mean bone in her body, Natty. There's no way. We're not turning her to the dark side. We should definitely finish this off with Natty for now. I pressed ominous regarding Salazar Slytherin's scriptorium, but my efforts were in vain. Meet me outside the Slytherin common room. We need to talk. No freaking way, yes. Okay, there is going to be a lot of fun stuff jam-packed into this video. We got, oh my gosh, we're getting closer to our first unforgivable spell, and then we might be able to also fit in the second trial. Is this Mr. Bickle's home? I believe so. 
He supposedly has evidence against Halo. We need to speak with him. Oh, okay. Um, oh, we're gonna do that now. Where are you, Archie? Where are you? Anyone played Red Dead Redemption 2? The way she said that. Or wait, was it Red Dead 1? No, it was Red Dead 2. <laughs> what was the guy's name? Where are you, Archie? Don't tell me she doesn't sound like the dude who runs around yelling, Gavin, Gavin, where are you? Gavin! Easily one of the best parts about that game. It's just such a small detail. Are you all right? We're looking for Mr. Bickle. My husband is dead. He killed him. Oh, I'm terribly sorry, Mrs. Bickle. Who killed your husband? Theophilus Harlow. I'm sure of it. He's been threatening my husband for weeks and... Oh, where is my son? Where is Archie? Where are you? <laughs> I can't help it. And I'm so sorry. Again, there's no real evil dialogue option here, so psh, your son is fine. He must be around here somewhere. When did you last see him? Archie was home with his father while I was out. His satchel's missing. Hopefully he's just gone wandering, as he's prone to do. I hope he wasn't here when Harlow... When my husband... Do you know which way Archie might have gone? <laughs> um, he has a little hideout in the forest south of here. He never wanders far. But if he witnessed Harlow doing something to his father... Uh, I'm afraid to leave in case he comes back home. Yeah, you stay right here. I'm on it. We'll find your son, Mrs. Bickle. Thank you. <sighs> what am I going to do? <laughs> <laughs> Her face at the end there. Don't worry, Mrs. Bickle. We will bring Achi home. I couldn't even take that entire interaction seriously because... Every single time she would say her name, my brain would finish it off as Bicklesworth. Where could Archie have gone? Bicklesworth. Austin Powers. If anything happens to him. <laughs> can I break inside your home, please? Yes, I can. Hello, Amora. Ooh, we got money. <laughs> Rebellion. This looks like a carbon copy of uh, the, the house. Um, oh my gosh. Anne... Anne's house, Sallow, yes. Sol Solomon? Sa Sallow, we'll just call him Sallow. All right, this place has been looted. Let's get the heck out of here and figure out where we need to go next. Oh, we gotta follow you, right? When I took the letter we found to Officer Singer, she told me about Mr. Bickle. He had been doing the same thing we are, providing Officer Singer with evidence to take down Harlow. I had hoped to speak with him about what he had found, but we were too late. Spider! See, so guys? They're not that scary. Uh-uh. Okay, never mind. <laughs> never mind. Yep. My timing is always impeccable. Oh, I wanted to stay up in the air longer. <laughs> Oh, bye. Carry on. <laughs> Where were we? <sighs> oh. I have the inspiration to play so many games right now. What did Officer Singer say about the letter you brought her? She thanked me, but she clearly felt that it was not enough. It is a shame that hypocrites cannot speak. Your friend Highwing could provide all the evidence against Halo that we need. We will need something more. I'm glad they don't speak. I don't want to be chastised for getting heavier every single time. Highwing gives me a ride like, hey! This must be getting heavy. She's hideout that Mrs. Bickle mentioned. Archie? Archie Bickle! He would not have done this to his own hideout. Someone came here looking for him. Oh, that's right. Revelio may be our only hope of finding out which way he went. Wait, how do you? Revelio. There! Archie's footprints. He went this way. The way she put her foot down when she revelioed, it was so, like, mm, sassy. 
<sighs> right foot, let's stomp. Revelio. <laughs> Left foot, let's stomp. Revelio. Charlie Brown. I thought we would have uh, found uh, Archie by now. I suspect he'll keep running if he's being followed. If it is Harlow that's pursuing him, I only hope you're right. Men like Harlow would not think twice about killing a child. We must find Archie quickly. I ain't just any child. Cows. Let me also. Yes. Wow. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> the wheat just ragdolls and falls to the ground. I'm sorry. It is so funny. Okay, I have I want to try something. I know it won't work, but I'm still going to try it cuz I'm mega curious. Only magical beasts can be rescued. That is so insulting to the cows. Y hear that guys, you aren't magical. You aren't special. Wolves. Prepare for a fight. I thought that was a werewolf. Holy crap. Oh, we didn't switch it. Oh my gosh, wait a second. Got it. Ooh, Wowzer. Get it. Oh my goodness. Slice. I know. That was close. Oh. Way to go, Natty. I knew I could count on you. Cross paths with that wolf pack. We should look around. Out here in nature, it is kill or be killed. It's like the next spot is here. Look at that. Bright yellow and everything. Archie's satchel. Why would he leave it behind? He was likely running from Harlem, distracted. This may be a good time for Revelio again. Revelio, Archie went this way. I see that. I have a bad feeling about this. Harlow must have a reason for pursuing Archie. I wonder what Archie saw. I hope he didn't see Harlow kill his father. He would never overcome it. At least not in any way I can imagine. Just bring him to a Thestral and ask him if he can see it. Easy. Easy. Dead giveaway. <gasps> Hedwig! No! No! Oh, I wish I could capture an owl too. Wow. Dude, oh, that's another thing that I hope that they add for the sequel. One of the most iconic things about the Harry Potter stories in like this universe is how tied each character is to their animal companion. You either get a rat, a cat, or an owl, right? And you might get other animals. I'm sure there's more animals. It would actually be really cool to learn all the variety of like school pets and school animal companions that the students can have. But you know, the main three that we think of are rats, cats, and owls. And it's, I think it's so weird that we kind of didn't get that or something resembling that. Like even if it just chills and stays in our common room by our bed and we have like our own assigned bed and we can go back and interact with it. Maybe there's like a mini game involved. I have so many ideas. Okay. If y'all need an idea person, what do we call those people? A developer, a creator. If you guys need some ideas, I might have some. Just saying. Oh, Harlow caught up to him here. This is not good. They went this way. Oh, we need the satchel. The knapsack? Come here. Come here. Don't you? Oh my gosh. Five? Are you kidding me? Go. No, no. No, you don't. No, you don't. Just a crap all off. How do we get it to stop? Are they not? You can see Thestrals too. I witnessed death when I was nine. Saw my first Thestral shortly thereafter. I found comfort in it. Let me see. Yes. I think those of us who have witnessed death deserve some comfort. Oh no, you don't. Nice try. That was really close. I'm sorry Maybe I'm you can accio it. Like that at so young an age. I was with my father when he died. My mother was away, and I felt quite helpless. It was a long time ago in some ways, but in other ways. It seems like it was only yesterday. I still see him so clearly. You must miss him. 
My father was a wonderful man. I... Mm. Let us keep moving. We must find action. My character is terrible at being evil. We're, we're just so good at being empathetic and understanding and compassionate and... Oh! <laughs> it's my weakness as an evil person. Taking in children now, are we? Better not be expected to feed him. It is as I feared. Oh. They have Archie. Be on your gut. There can be no mistakes. All right, let's switch up our spells again. What do we have on the bottom? Oh, it was Defindo. Defindo. And who will be our first target? Revelio. So I just want to go in guns blazing. Taking in children now, are we? Which I'd rather wands blazing. Oh, Explosive. Huh? That's right, get wrecked. <laughs> that was really close. Are you seriously not dead yet, dude? Come on. Oh, oh we need a new spell. Natty, what are you doing? I did not mean to heal myself. We need to switch this out. What did I have there? Um, I think it was Confringo. Cool. Okay, what are we looking for exactly? Oh, that scared me for a second. I definitely remember there being a Merlin trial that took me so long to figure out how to solve. Actually, I want to see if I can do it again. Let's challenge ourselves a little bit. Now I know how to- Oh. We need Flipendo for this, don't we? Yeppers, we do. Okay. <laughs> Whoops. I did not expect this tent to be so large on the inside. That complicates things a little. <sighs> this is also one of the coolest things about the magical world in this universe. Like... I would never need a house again. I would never need a car. I would never need a mortgage. I would never need insurance. What do I need? Tent insurance? I can probably just repair it with my wand. I wish magic was real. You don't think he saw it happen, do you? He's just a- Hold that thought, my friend. We should release him. This is the sort of thing that could draw unwanted attention. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'll save that for when I go to the lower level. Ooh, a piece of candy. Yet, yet, don't turn around. And then, uh. Is it, oh, no. There's not one more person, there's like four more. I don't think I'm gonna get very far here. We're just gonna switch this back. Um, let's go have some fun. You get some. Oh no. Catherine Haggerty? No, wrong person. That's fine. What did you say? Hey, she knows Descendo too. Ooh, that was close. Never! Do my money. Ah. There we go. Oh nope, you're you're still alive. You're still kicking. Oh, 
see that bucket? Why don't you go ahead and kick it? That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh, is the kid down there? Yeah, there he is. Did I get everything that I needed to loot? We should probably help the poor kid now. Bavelia. Hold on, I'm still looting. Hold up, hold up. Hold up, hold up. I need your help. Yup, money. <laughs> money burst. I'll be right there. You sound like you're going anywhere. Archie? Archie Bickle? Bickle'sworth. Your mother sent us to find you. Oh, I'm so glad to see you. Not too loud, Archie. Sorry. Why, everyone is I incapacitated. Leave it to me. You're free. I'm Uncle Tarlo. He killed my father. We're so sorry, Archie. We won't let him get away with it. But first we need to get you home to your mother. Thank you for saving me. We wouldn't have it any other way, Archie. Now, let's get you home. We know a safe way back. Cool, they just teleported us back here. Oh, Archie! You're here! Oh. Whoa, hold it, lady. Mother, hold back the excitement. Oh, mother. Mom's friends are in danger. I heard the people who took me talking about them. Which friends, darling? Mr. and Mrs. Rabe. Mr. Filbert. And I think they also said Otto's name. Oh. I shall speak with them. You run inside. Yes, mother. Nothing odd to see here. Just a perfectly normal day. I think it is now time to talk to you. Your husband's friends may be in danger. Just as he was. How can we help? You've done enough. My husband was a powerful wizard and couldn't defeat Harlow. The last thing we need is that monster coming after you. Don't underestimate me. He's already after us. It may be too late for that. I'm afraid Harlow's already after us. Then you needn't anger him further. I assure you, the threat could be a lot worse. Please, please keep your distance. I'm sorry again about your husband, Mrs. Bickle. Thank you. And thank you for bringing Archie home. I can never repay the two of you for your kindness. Not to worry, Mrs. Bickle. My father used to say that rain does not fall on one roof alone. We are here to help each other. Speak for yourself. Learn more about Mr. Bickle's friends and why Harlow is after them. You'll be hearing from me as soon as I know something. Thank you for your help today. You're very welcome. I love being evil. I need to do this more often and role play as an evil character because I am having so much fun. You already know what is next for us. You're here. Brilliant. Yes, I am. I received your owl. What happened with Ominous? I told him none of us will be able to avoid dark magic forever. So the more we know about Salazar Slytherin and the dark arts, the better prepared we'll be. Unfortunately, only a Gaunt knows the location of the Scriptorium's entrance, and Ominous won't tell me. Hmm. Perhaps I should have a chat with Ominous. You? I suppose it's worth a try. But don't get your hopes up. Ominous is annoyingly stubborn. Nothing new. I know where he is. I'll lead you to him and then leave you to it. Come on. We have a lot in common. It's this way. In the shadow of the study. So, is this it? Like, are we about to learn this? Or is it setting us up for that? I really hope Keep we're just out. going into this, coming out Never with a brand watching. new spell. Although that hasn't stopped us before. Strictly speaking, it has. We were caught. Damned poltergeist. Such a nuisance. Peeves. He is my major pet. Peeve. I had to. Yep. Are we need to pick up the pace. <laughs> hey, you got in my way. Are these bathrooms? Yes, they are. Rebellion. I know one of them. Oh, uh, one of them has. A field guide for the sink for the Chamber of Secrets. 
Hold on, dude, can I just make a pit stop there really he fast? There is. Good luck. Yes! Slytherin sink. Scratched into one of the copper taps on the seemingly ordinary sink in the girls' toilets is a small snake. No one knows what it means. Whatever you say. Any funky toilets in here? Never mind. Nope. <laughs> no time for a bathroom break. Then there is another really cool room down here, here, right? It's locked. Another door. <gasps> oh! Hello. Avelio. Nothing weird here at all. Wait, I want to go this way. I'll- oh, one second. Got it. Okay. <laughs> now let's talk to him. Hello, Ominous. Do you have a moment? What is it? What have you and Sebastian been up to now? I owe you an apology, Ominous. I wasn't honest with you before about the Undercroft. Sebastian did show it to me. He wanted me to have a safe place to practice some spells, to try and catch up to the other fifth years. He didn't think you'd mind. <sighs> I suppose that makes sense. It's just Sebastian's been pestering me lately about something and I'm frustrated with him. Don't tell me he's still going on about... What was it? A scriptorium? He told you about that. He did. We were talking about our house founder and he mentioned it. Wouldn't say much more, though. Yes, well, he seems to think it contains the answer to saving Anne. I think it's likely full of dark magic that is better left untouched. Wait, you've never been inside? Of course not. I only know about it because of my favorite aunt, Noctua. She thought like I do. Didn't agree with the family on the use of dark magic. In fact, she'd hoped to convince my family that there was more to Salazar Slytherin than worshipping pureblood status. She'd heard of this scriptorium and thought its contents might shed some light on him. She even found the secret entrance in this very corridor. She wrote regularly to my father about her efforts to gain access, and then she simply vanished. No one else ever tried to enter. Aren't you curious about what's inside? I'm sorry about your aunt. Don't you want to find out what happened to her? Aunt Noctua went down this path with good intentions and lost her life. I don't want the same to happen again. You don't know that history will repeat itself. Besides, you said your aunt thought like you. This could honor her memory, get you answers about Slytherin and Sebastian answers for Anne. Your aunt pursued this alone. We could do it together. Hmm. I see what you've done here. And I confess, you've convinced me. I didn't think it possible. Very well. I shall tell you what I know. Fetch Sebastian, I'll wait. Cool. I hope I... we don't regret this. Sebastian, over here. Oh, there's these, these things we have to light on fire. To the scriptorium. Now you'll share. You wouldn't tell me when I practically begged. It wasn't you who told me what I needed to hear. Ooh. Opening the entrance has something to do with threes. Well, three heads are better than one. It's two heads are better than one. <laughs> and by that logic, three is better than two. True. Simple mathematics, ominous. Boom. Nailed it. He's right. I agree. Sebastian, he got you. Confringo! This is easily one of my favorite quests. I easily. We're ready for this. I am. Uh, we're about to get our first unforgivable curse. It's Cru. I'm pretty sure it's Crucio. Yes, we do. That needs to be repaired. Knock to a gaunt's note, one of five. I must prove my point. We do not need to use the dark arts as my family instructs. When I reach the scriptorium, I will find evidence that there's more to Salazar Slytherin than we realize. I've written to my brother. He now knows I have accessed the corridor's entrance and that there's no straight path to reach the scriptorium. It's a maze with many challenges to solve. I hope that my brother will follow my lead and we can study our ancestors' legacy together. Knock to a gaunt. A journal entry, signed by Noctua Gaunt. Gaunt? Ominous. Your family was here. I know. She was my aunt. You knew? And didn't tell me? Ooh. Ominous, the journal mentions many challenges ahead. That's why I said this could be dangerous. Aunt Noctua kept my father informed until she vanished. Sounds pretty bad. Okay, let's do Reparo. Reparo. 
Don't worry, guys. I got it. No need to lift a finger. Rubble formed a relief of a person facing a snake. That must be the voice I hear. It's not now, is it? No way. The no. voice is ancient. You hear a voice? It started when you repaired that relief. I hear a whisper saying, speak to me. I'm a parcel mouth. I can hear and speak to snakes. Nearly all known parcel mouths are descended from Salazar Slytherin. I wish all Slytherins could talk to snakes. You might not want the ability to speak parcel tongue. It's often associated with dark wizards. I haven't spoken it in ages, but I'd wager if I speak it now, the door will open. I'm hoping you're having second thoughts. None at all. I see no reason we should stop now. It's ironic. When I left home, I vowed to leave the dark arts behind, and yet here I am. Stand back. Oh, I'll stand back. I can't believe I'm doing this. Ha <laughs> ha. It worked! Ominous, you possess a rare ability indeed. Between the two of you, I'm starting to feel left out. <laughs> Between the two of us? I... Never mind. Shh. Never mind. You big mouth? He's a parcel mouth and you're a big mouth. Ugh. Can't There's trust no you. There's way forward. Like a maze. Salazar Slytherin most likely wanted this to be difficult to solve. The door we came from, it closed. And there's more than one gate ahead. Then look closely at each gate for clues. It is too dark in here. Lumos. Um, I know those snakes have something to do with it, like the snakes on the pedestal. So this is... Huh. I can't remember what we do, though, exactly. When the door closed, it lit up. Let's go inside this one first. Ooh, is this number two, I hope? Salazar Slytherin buried this scriptorium deep within Hogwarts. I'm afraid I shall lose my way around these dark corridors. I'm a descendant, and yet I feel unwelcome. Letting these braziers in the corridor is helping. I shan't lose heart. Challenge by challenge, I will make my way through, not to a gaunt. I think it is number this two. This journal entry, it mentions getting lost and being unwelcome. Poor Aunt Noctua. Lumos. Okay, so, so creepy, um, I think the this lock is, f that lock in that door is for, or that lock in that room is for this door. Um, I don't know, we're just gonna go with it right now. I think I have those memorized. Dial requires focus. Oh, that's right. Not to have said the same. It may take practice to solve it. No way. Oh god, I'm gonna get whacked. That didn't sound good. Salazar Slytherin didn't make this easy. Okay, but how do you switch the parts that spin, though? I can't remember how to do that. Um. Oh. Oh, hurry. I was gonna say, hurry up! <laughs> oh, thank goodness. Matching the symbols did open it. I was about to do Lumos. that myself, but you got to it first. Sure. <laughs> nice work. Yeah. Sure you were. Uh-huh. I wanna go see- Oh, I think the one down below is for this door then. That's so creepy. Wait, we're already on the fourth note? Out of five? Did I miss one? Oh, please don't tell me I missed one. <gasps> Maybe it's in here. So this has to be for this door. We got like a moon, half moon looking thing. And then we have the infinity symbol. Another gate. Seems Slytherin like to play games. Oh crap, is that it? Look in a mirror, Sebastian. Go, 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 go. Oh crap. Did I not do it right? Rather dire, isn't it? You what? Surprised. We're in a maze designed by Salazar Slytherin. <laughs> it honestly is super cool. But, oh, I miss. <laughs> I can't just let it spin infinitely. So there's that one. And then the infinity symbol. Yep. There we go. 
That sounded promising. Lou, another dial solved. Impressive. That was so nice weird. Work. Thanks. Ooh. Okay. Yep, this is winding. So this must be... Yeah, so here's the third note. I filled the dial and it struck my face as if it were a real serpent, but I must find a way forward for my family's sake. We should not require children to conform to old traditions. The scriptorium must have proof that there's more to our legacy than meets the eye, not to a gaunt. Ominous, your aunt wanted to change your family's traditions. She did, and she was my favorite person in the world for it. You can't not love Lumos. Ominous. If you were, you know, not evil, of course. All right, I need to take a mental snapshot of this. We got a fish, and then we got a triangle. Let's see if I can remember that. Fish and triangle. Fish and triangle. Not the welcoming sword or safety. There it is. Excellent work. This is we're it. Another step closer to the scriptorium. Oh, this is it. I need the lights back on. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I'm so excited. I spotted something ahead. Looks troubling. This whole place is troubling, but for my aunt's sake, we cannot stop now. Definitely not. First, we gotta read her to note. Solve ahead. Search each corridor. It may not be obvious which leads where. Okay, yeah, guys, I get it. Um, I wanna read this first. Extraordinary. This journey is painful but rewarding. I shall soon find the scriptorium and discover untold secrets regarding our house founder, Salazar Slytherin. He intended more than we've become. I know it. Knock to a gaunt. Let's go! References painful and arduous challenges, but also rewards. Painful. That's the part I'm wary of. Yeah. All I heard was rewards. Keep going. You can see the dichotomy between them and like their friendship. It's just, I love, I love the dynamic and how kind of obvious but also not obvious that they made it. But again, playing this ag again now, it, it just hits so different. All the little verbal cues that they're giving you. But pain means crucio. The gate! I think we're locked in. Again! <sighs> then Salazar Slytherin is not yet finished with us. Nope. We got the final letter. Did I notice the scream the first time? I've lost hope, I'm locked in. I heard a scream and saw the tortured faces. The only way forward is with an unforgivable curse. Even if I wanted to cast it, I have no one upon whom to do so. Sla Salazar Slytherin created a malicious challenge indeed. In my last correspondence to my brother, I'd invite him here. <gasps> Oh my gosh, it would have been her brother. Now if he looks for me alone, I'll have to I'll have led him to his death. Despite our differences, I wish him no ill. I wish we had parted on better terms. Ominous. A skeleton. And Noctua's last journal entry. She mentions being trapped here, blocked by an unforgivable curse. This is where she died. This is where we'll die. I shouldn't have listened to either of you. Ominous, I'm truly sorry about your aunt. But I know what to do. It's going to be difficult. Again, I am presuming that, like, nobody in the school, nobody on the faculty knew that this place existed, but, like, it's so funny how many places we discover and that actually exist in the Hogwarts castle that are such a hazard to students and any minors at all you said you know what to do tortured faces on the door and crucios etched into the stone my guess is if we cast the cruciatus curse the door will open that's why noctua died she had no one to cast the curse on ominous has the most experience with this he should cast it you seem to be in ominous's favor will you ask him about this question hypothetically like can you cast it on yourself because what if we stumble across a situation like this where somebody comes down by themselves and i personally don't even think that's fair even if you know it is salazar slytherin doing it 
I don't... I don't think he'd want that. I think it'd be like a cheap thing to do. It'd be like cheating. I'd rather you ask him, throw him under the bus. You know him better than I do. Very well. Wish me luck. Good luck. Wish we had some liquid luck. Ominous, I know this is the last thing you want to do. Yes, it is. I thought you knew me better. But this is different. Whoever you cast it upon would have agreed to it first. It wouldn't be an innocent victim. We have to open the door. The spell won't work unless you mean it. That's true of all Unforgivables. If it must be done, then one of you must cast it. I volunteer as tribute. What do we do now? Ominous is not going to cast the Cruciatus Curse again. Ridiculous. As if dying in here is a better option than casting a damned spell. <sighs> It's up to us. I can teach you Crucio, or I can cast it on you. Wait, you didn't say you knew how to cast Crucio. Because I'm not sure I do. Ominous knows that, yet he's left us no choice. I don't yearn to follow in Noctua Gaunt's footsteps. I think I can cast it if I have to. No, 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 no. No need, allow me. Teach me the Cruciatus curse and I'll cast it on you. I want to learn the curse, and I think it's best if I cast it on you. Very well, if that's what you want. To perform the spell, raise your wand, point it at me, and firmly declare, Crucio, hold on as long as you can. He took that like a champ. Oh, I can't believe it's happening. I kind of waited a year for this? What? Or a little over a year? That's actually really crazy to think about. Ready? I'm ready. What a moment. It's so different when you're the one doing it this time around. Are you all right? That pain. I would have done anything to make it stop. But I'll survive. Let's keep moving. We made it. We found Salazar Slytherin's scriptorium. I can't believe we're here. I can believe we're here again, but I can't believe what I just did. Wow. What a powerful, powerful moment. So they're in Spellbook. Whoops! Sorry. Oh my gosh, that was probably super valuable. This is Salazar Slytherin's thing that he owns himself. It's probably worth so much, and I just broke it. Sebastian, ominous. There's a book just here. You found the something. Venue. You two go ahead. Let me know what's in it. I'll wander around a bit. Have a look. A secret and well-protected room beneath Hogwarts where Salazar Slytherin appears to have spent some time making various long-term plans with respect to the student population and reflecting on disagreements he had with other founders. So this was his den. This is where he gamed and hung out till the wee hours of the morning. Ooh, what's this? Oh no! What else do we have in here? Yeah, there is that note. It gives us a ton of lore, I think. How old is that? And what the heck did I just drink? Oh, this is a long one. I fear, we, I fear we shall never come to an accord. I cannot persuade even one of them to listen to reason. I had dared hope that Godric's thoughts were aligned with my own, that he understood why the caliber of student needed to be exceptional. But he has fallen prey to the ridiculous notion that Muggleborns are somehow as capable as purebloods. He was furious when I expressed my displeasure at his thoughts on the matter, thoughts he had not yet put voice to. 
I tire of the discord and can no longer bear witness to the corridors full of inept children masquerading as witches and wizards. It is with heavy it is with a heavy heart that I now know I must go from here. I shall place the creature into a deep sleep in its chamber until it can be awakened by one who shares my views, a descendant willing to reverse the damage that the others that the others had so carelessly wrought, one who shall rid the school of those unworthy of Hogwarts that would serve only to stain my legacy. And we all know what that's referencing, right? The Basilisk in the Chamber of Secrets. And this descendant that he's referring to, I'm pretty sure he's talking about Voldemort or Tom Riddle. I freaking love nods to the original series. Stuff like this is what I live for. I live for the lore. It is, now that I'm older, my favorite thing about games. What do you think? Looks like a spell book of some kind. This is incredible. A Hogwarts founder's possession. What an honor. Still can't believe Ominous never told me about his aunt and what she found. What will you do with Slytherin's spell book? What I do with every book. Read it. Having professors as parents ingrained that habit early on. But I can do that later. For now, I say we explore this room. Have I done it's that already? It's breathtaking. It is, but I wouldn't breathe too hard. Um, you might inhale a lot of dust. I don't want to leave, but I owe you. Both of you. <gasps> Without both of you, we'd never have made it this far. We were lucky. We could have died. We must swear never to do this again. I don't think I noticed that it was written on the floor like that. Ominous. About your aunt. Please, <laughs> Sebastian. I meant what I said before. We swear, right now, never to engage in anything to do with dark magic again. Understood. No can do. Nope. I'm truly sorry about your aunt, Ominous. I suppose after all this, I am grateful to know what happened to her. Thank you. So she just randomly disappeared and like, what did the family think? I finally have Crucio available in my spells. I cannot believe this. I can only imagine what the cooldown time is for this though. A couple minutes at least, 90 seconds. Let's put our brand new spell to good use. Trial number two. You would be wise not to underestimate this student. Right on. Their aptitude for magic is beyond anything I've ever seen. And I've been teaching a long time. Gassing me up. It is a joy to have such a student. It can be. Look at my spell on my weapon wheel. Hello! Totally nothing shady happened about five minutes ago, and I did not learn a spell that could put me in Azkaban. I received your owl. I was able to speak with Lodgok, the goblin I mentioned before. What did you learn? He and Ranrock were close once, but they had a falling out. You believe he can be trusted? Nope. He seemed trustworthy. Difficult to know, really. But Sorona Ryan trusts him. Well, that's something, I suppose. Supposing he can be trusted, will he help us get to Ranrock? I retrieved a stolen helm that he hopes to return to Ranrock in order to regain his confidence. You have been busy. Let's hope your efforts result in our learning something about Ranrock's plans. Lodgok did mention that Ranrock is searching for something, but he couldn't say what. Perhaps that helm will yield some answers. Ranrock is searching for something? I feared as much. I've heard an unusual amount of activity, goblins and wizards, I surmise, when visiting my portrait at my castle. Rookwood Castle? My former residence, yes. That castle is also the location of your next trial. I have some bad news. I'm sorry to tell you that Victor Rookwood, evidently your descendant, is a dark wizard in league with Ranrock. My descendant? A dark wizard? I'm afraid we've no time to waste. Despite the obstacles that clearly await you, you must get to Rookwood Castle immediately. Not only is it the location of the next trial, it is home to a source of power that would be devastating in the wrong hands. I do wish we had the luxury of time. However, I do not doubt your abilities. 
Find my portrait there as soon as you can. Very well, sir. I'm on my way. Best of luck. No time to waste. I'll meet you at Rookwood Castle. He sounded so sad and disappointed. He's probably like, where did my lineage go so horribly wrong? I thought we were gonna have enough time to do the second trial, but I figured this would be the next best place to stop and then we can pick up right where we left off next time. Also, I didn't want to overshadow the fact that we got Crucio. So we got one huge milestone in this video and then another huge milestone in the next video because that's when I'm gonna use it. Speaking of milestones, I just want to say thank you guys again so much. It's because of every single person out there watching right now. You are all the main reason why this channel hit 100,000 subscribers. That has been such a huge dream of mine since I started YouTube many years later and we are finally here. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and click the bell button as well to get notified. Alright guys, have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next one.